All right, in today's episode, we are talking about a quick, easy way to use something from your kitchen in a station in your classroom. Now I know kitchen hacks have been done all over the world, all over YouTube, all over social media. Um, I'm gonna try to start using some kitchen hacks in the classroom. I've used a couple things here and there that I'll share with you eventually, but I wanna focus on one thing today. I'm gonna try to start making these quick vlogs a little bit quicker for you, because I know we all don't have a lot of time to sit down and just watch videos. I really appreciate you doing that, I do. This thing is right in my head. I love it that you wanna take the time to watch me on your computer or whatever, but I'm gonna make it quicker for you so you can watch and go do, and watch and go do, and then you can get all this stuff in your classroom anytime you want. I wanna back it up a little bit. I'm using some centers in my classroom that I've used before, I've talked about before, from my friends Kim Adsit and Deanna Jump. Their packs are on Teachers Pay Teachers called Centers Made Easy. They are phenomenal packs that will have your kids doing independent centers in no time at all. You can check out that product here, I'll link it down there below. This is what it looks like on Teachers Pay Teachers if you wanna see it. Uh, I think they have nine units right now. I am on unit three, no four. I'm using unit four right now on my stations. And the thing I love most about these, like I said, is that they are completely independent centers. Independent centers that you can set up with the kids that they can do on their own while you're pulling small groups over your table to work. And it has really changed the way that I do small groups in my classroom, it has. It's made it so much easier to get small group work done. Well, one of my favorite games in this pack, you see the thing about these packs is they, they repeat a lot of the same games, but they change the skill. So you never really have to reteach the game, you just change the skill. And one of those is a game that they call Spin and Dab. And Spin and Dab is one of my favorite things to do because the kids love to use Duo Dot Markers or little bingo dabbers, which makes it even better. And they're doing just simple, simple activity that's helping reinforce skills that we've already taught. So the point of these centers isn't for teaching. The point of these centers is for them doing things that we've taught together in class or learned together in class. So this week we're doing an ending sound spin and dab. We're working on ending sounds, clapping them out, listening to them, stretching them out in words, trying to figure out how a sound ends or how a word ends with a sound. And we're working on the sounds G, T, and N. So on this page that the kids get, they have practiced stamping pictures that end with G, T and N. Now in the pack, Kim and Deanna have provided these awesome cute little spinners like this that you can cut out, laminate, put on cardstock, and I've done that with other units that go along with this game. But my spinners are either one, getting lost, or two, getting broken, or three, I've got a lot of kids this year whose little hands can't manipulate these, these little plastic spinners all that well on top of a piece of paper and spin this and hold the paper down and all that. So they do work great. If you have these in your classroom, this is what this is meant for. You put the spinner on top of there, you spin it, they land on it, whatever letter they land on, they dab it or do a dot it on here. Easy, simple game that practices those skills, reinforces those skills. So due to that having the spinners, I came up with a new idea. I had something on my desk that I was using as an organization tool, but it was taking up way too much room. So I decided to take it off. And that thing is one of these spinners. What do they call these, a lazy Susan, right? Um, I had it on my table and I had it covered with cups of pens, pencils, all that, and I would spin it around when I needed to at my table, but it took up a lot of space. So when my kids were at my table, I found myself more often just picking this up and moving it rather than spinning it and using what it was for. So I thought to myself, I could get away from using these that are either breaking or they're too hard to manage, and I can make this more of a group center where they're taking turns and watching what happens, getting really excited by turning this into a spinner. So what I did is I just took some electrical tape because the black stands out really good against this wood. I found this at a garage sale, I think, or I think my mother-in-law was selling a garage sale, so it was free to me. I'm sure you can find these cheap anywhere. But all I did was put some black electrical tape on it. We threw some black electrical tape on the table. I labeled the table with the letters we're working on. And now, I set that in the middle of the table like that, and they're gonna spin that spinner to see what letter they land on. Whatever letter they land on, that is what they do a dot on their page. So on my paper, whatever I stop on, right? T. So on my paper, I would use a bingo dabber or a do a dotter, and I would dab something like basket, because it ends with a T. And when they finish that, I've got a couple here that the kids finish. Their paper looks like this, and I can call them over, and I can have a review with me. Okay, what letter did you land on? to be able to stamp a frog and they can tell me G. You do not have to do something like this. The pack of games is great. Please go check it out and support them. It's an awesome unit. But this little kitchen hack makes spinners in the classroom so much more fun. I'm not only gonna use it for this game, I'm gonna use it for all kinds of spinner games. I'm gonna even see if I can pick these up at Dollar Tree or cheap places and make jumbo spinners that I can use all over. So. Jumbo spinners, great way to enhance the game. Using this, they really got into watching where it was gonna stop instead of just flicking a little spinner. So there you go. Use it how you wanna use it, have fun with it, and I'll see you guys soon on a new video.